So welcome to this mixed review. This is a selection of exercises that you might get on a typical test where you're asked to name the molecules in different fashions. So in this case, we're going to use different colors. And the exercise might be use IUPAC or UPAC nomenclature to name these exercises or use common names. So we're going to do both. And the first thing that we have to identify is exactly what we're dealing with, right? So even if the exam doesn't ask for this or the test won't ask for this, let's try to analyze what we're looking at, right? So this, we identify off the bat, hydroxy group. This is an alcohol. And then this one, we look at it. It's a carbonyl group, which is in the middle of a chain, so we can identify it as a ketone. Next, we have double bond O, carbonyl with an OH, so this is a carboxylic uh, carboxyl group, so we're dealing with a carboxylic acid. Silic acid. Next, we have a carbonyl at the edge of a molecule, so this is an aldehyde. Here we have an oxygen atom separating two different radical chains, so this is an ether. And last but not least, we have a uh, carboxyl group that the H has been taken away and substituted by a chain. So this is an ester. Now that we know what each of these molecules are, it's gonna be much simpler. So here in pink, I'm gonna write common. So to indicate that these are my common names, and we're gonna do a little review. So in common naming of alcohols, the OH turns into the word alcohol. And then what is attached to this OH? One, two, three, four, attached to the secondary carbon. So the name for this one is sec butyl alcohol. This is my common name. Next, ketones. Ketones are uh, rare to name with common names. So for the purposes of this review, we're gonna say that the common name does not apply, okay? So here we can put it to understand that it won't apply. Carboxylic acids, we use their original nomenclature. So we see that they have two carbon atoms and that's gonna turn into acet. And the ending for carboxylic acids in common nomenclature is ic acid. And we're done with this exercise, acetic acid. Here we have the word alcohol. For aldehydes, same thing. We look at our longest chain, one, two, three, four. Our longest chain is number is four carbons long. So that is prefix butyr. And we add the word aldehyde to have one single word, butyr aldehyde. But we have this methyl group left over. But if you remember from other videos, number two is alpha, this is beta, and this is gamma. So in this case, the methyl is attached at the beta site, beta methyl butyraldehyde. Remember, when we're talking about carboxylic acids and aldehydes, in even esters on their carbon side, we use these letters to indicate the position of the substituents. Ethers is very simple. The oxygen atom is going to turn into the word ether. And then we look at what's attached on both sides. We have one, two, three. One, two, three, both of them are propyl, but here we have isopropyl and this is n-propyl. So this would be isopropyl, n-propyl, ether. Last but not least, the common name for the ester is going to be, we have the oxygen side and we have the carbon side. So oxygen side comes first. We're going to write isopropyl. And then on the... Carbon side, we only have one. That's prefix form. And since it's an ester, we add the ending eight. And we're done, isopropyl formate. Now, when we're doing the UPAC nomenclature for these molecules, and I'm gonna write this down with another color marker, UPAC, so that we know how to differentiate. We go back to the same structure, counting and giving the star of the show, which is a functional group, the lowest numbers. So functional group is OH. We have one, two, three, four carbons. So we want to start numbering here. One, two, three, four. And this simply shows up as number two, buta, which means four, N-O-L, 
all ending, so two butanol indicating that the all, the hydroxy group, is at number two. And there we have our points for that exercise. For the ketone, same thing, the star of the show is a carbonyl group. We start numbering one, two, three, four, five. And whatever's left over, we name independently. So this is going to turn into two pentan, like if it was pentane, but we take off the E and we add our O N E ending to pentanone. But we're not done because at number two, I'm sorry, not at number two, at number four, we have what group? Methyl. For methyl, two pentanone. When we continue with the carboxylic acid, remember carboxylic acid, always number one, this carbon where the OH and the double bond O converge. So it's two, two is etha or ethane. But in this case, we're gonna cut off that E and we add the UPAC ending, which is oic acid, ethanoic acid. And we're done with that exercise. For the aldehyde, when we come back to this exercise, it's really easy, we can just substitute it, but again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we're gonna write butane, but without the E at the end because that gets substituted by AL. No numbers because a carbonyl is always on the edge. And then at number three, we have methyl, three methyl butanol. And continuing on, others. Remember, others are a little bit trickier to name. So here we're gonna use a few colors. We have to find the longest chain, and we also have to give the lowest number. So here we have one, two, three, one, two, three. But the one that's gonna give me the lower numbers is if I choose a straight chain, because my substituent is gonna get number one, two, and three. This is my main chain, which is gonna show up as a last name of the molecule, which is simply propane and I'm gonna underline it in orange so we know what we're talking about and what is the rest of the molecule the rest of the molecule is we have isopropyl with an oxygen interrupting in the middle at what number number one on the chain so it's one isopropyl but isopropyl turns into oxy isopropoxy propoxy propane and that's my UPAC name. Longest chain and everything else is a substituent. Last but not least, same thing, oxygen side, isopropyl for the ester. And then on the other side, one carbon, methane. But again, we don't, we drop that E and we add the ending of O8, which is our ending for esters. And that's how we do this little mixed review with all these different little exercises.